At the Hyundai Tournament of Champions, Jimmy Walker had a chance to win, then gave it away on Sunday. He then went on to win at the Sony Open in Hawaii the next week, defeating Matt Kuchar, who had a chance to win, and is now trying to keep that redemption theme going as he once again places himself at the top of the leaderboard. Kuch, playing on Nicholas Private on Friday, fired off an 8-under-64 at the Humana Challenge, including this eagle on the par 5 fourth. The seven-time PGA Tour champion is one clear of Michael Putnam and Bill Haas. This putt looks like it should break pretty good from right to left, but it's actually a fairly straight putt. Let's see if Kuchar reads it right. <laughs> of course he does. So Kuchar is at the top, but the story of the day, well, that came from Ryan Palmer, who began his Friday at one under par and left by narrowly escaping making history. Palmer began on the back nine of Nicholas Private, eagled the 12th, and then did something we rarely see, making the turn at using just 27 strokes officially on 59 watch. He then birdied the first for good measure to go 10 under through 10 holes. Fans and players alike took notice with Bob Estes tweeting out, I don't know what Giga means, but maybe that's what Ryan Palmer's doing right now. Of course, referring to Palmer's alma mater. Palmer's eight hole stretch that included two eagles and six birdies that's the best run of its kind in PGA Tour history. Palmer did not go on to card the 59. He settled for a 61, but all in all, an impressive day. And what I'm about to show you, it's not very impressive at all. Zach Johnson found himself in the less than desirable position on the 10th, where he tried to fight the Rocks, and the Rocks won. Oy, oy, oy. But because these guys are the best in the world, Johnson did not let that keep him down for long, chipping in for birdie just two holes later on the 12th. Former world number one Luke Donald chipped in as well. This one was on the ninth. And rookie Tony Finau ended his round with seven consecutive birdies, saving the best for last. Do that, big Tony. And for good measure, we'll round out the chip-ins from Friday with Roger Sloan's delicate wedge on 15. They love him here. So those are the storylines and the shots you got to be caught up on before round three. If you missed any of the coverage on Saturday, just meet me right back here after.